Hey, welcome to this quick little tutorial on typing special characters on your keyboard. With foreign languages, you're probably going to need to type some things with accents and special characters. So we're going to quickly help you get into your settings and create the international keyboard. Two ways you can set up the international keyboard. Uh, we have to get into settings. Let's first uh, either click the icon and go into settings, your Windows icon, go into settings, or you can click the magnifying glass and type in the word settings, and then you'll get the app for settings. Okay, once you're in the settings, you're going to look over on the left-hand side, and you're going to see time and language. Select that. Now, the tendency might be to go to typing, but actually you want to do language and region. Once you're in here, uh, you probably have English set up. We're going to click these three little dots over on the right-hand side, and that will give us language options. With language options, we're going to choose a new language. Now, it's technically English. We're just going to do keyboard, add keyboard. We're going to look through the menu here until we find the, the um, United States International. Here we go. With the United States International keyboard, now we have the computer set up to do two different keyboards. I'm going to close this. If you look down in your system tray, you'll see that right now it's set to English US. Now I can either click that and switch it over to United States International, English United States International, or I can use the um, left alt shift key and just toggle that way. You'll get this little warning message. So left, uh, there we go. Now we're just toggling back and forth. We can just toggle through them. You'll see that I have Spanish set up on my computer too, but it's a different keyboard using the United States International is easier. Okay, so English International. So now if I'm in a Word document here uh, to do accents, for accented vowels, I'll click the apostrophe key on my keyboard and nothing will show up but then the next vowel that I hit will have an accent. If I want to do a sh uh, uh, uppercase, I just do the apostrophe and then shift in the vowel. To do upside down question mark, I just um, hold down the right alt key and then do the question mark or exclamation mark. Uh, for the N, -ye, I just hold down the right alt key and then hit N or shift N. And then it'll just show up on the screen. It's that easy. So like if I'm typing, if I need to accent a character, apostrophe A, and then I'll have an accent at A. Now, if I don't switch back, now, when you saw those accented vowels, nothing showed up when I hit the apostrophe, but then when I hit the vowel, then it shows up. Uh, I'm sorry, what I was saying here is that if you leave it on the English International uh, all the time, then you'll have a few issues with things like apostrophes and quotes when you're doing things. Uh, so you can't just tab it back to the regular English keyboard, the standard English keyboard. So that is a very fast video of how to do this. I hope it helps. Good luck. Happy typing.